So this is how it, you deal with the media and technology, and this is how you deal with TechCrunch. This is how you get on GigaOn. This is how you get on the next web. These are the kinds of things I want to impart to you so that you come away and you go, oh my God, now I know how it works. Hell. So this is me, blah, 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 take that down. Right, news is a purple cow. It's unusual, it stands out. It's not the everyday run of the mill that's black, black and white cow, it stands out. There's an old fashioned phrase which says, news is not um, dog bites man, but man bites dog, because that's unusual. You don't see many men biting dogs, do you? News is about my title, my traffic, my readers, not your company. It's wonderful to hear about your company. Let me be very, very brutally honest. I want to make shitload of page impressions. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the graph that happened the day that Osama bin Laden was assassinated by a SEAL team. And I found the guy who was Twittering in Abbottabad, and I posted about the guy who was Twittering in Abbottabad, and this we found him, I found him, and that's my traffic for that day. And that made, gave me a boner. Okay. People come up to me and say, Mike, I've got a company. And I say, that's fantastic. But the fact that you exist is not news. It's very cute to have a nice baby, but the baby isn't news. You want to make news? Get involved. Join the news agenda. Make news yourself. Here's a picture of the Hudson River landing, very, very famous. You remember, might remember it. Now, on the right, you see a YouTube video produced by a company who had a special kind of software that could reproduce those kinds of scenarios in 3D. The day of the Hudson River landing, that company came out with a YouTube video, produced that, made news, their company name was everywhere because they joined the news agenda. And you have to join the news agenda if you want to be in the news. Conversations are kind of over. Uh, sorry, press releases are kind of over. Now, my PR people over here, Colette, it's all right. Colette, Colette sends me press releases all the time, and it's wonderful, and I like to hear them, but she understands how all this works. But, and I'm going to say something about PR companies in a second, but you know what? It's much better to get a relationship with a journalist, get a relationship with the media first. Have a conversation. Here's a note about embargoes. I don't really like them. We'd rather have exclusives. Can you trust the writer to hold your exclusive, to hold your embargo? We have a controversial com policy on TechCrunch. We're not keen on embargoes. It's better to negotiate. Let, come and talk to us first, of course. The difference between an embargo and an exclusive is that embargo is, it goes out to all media, right? And you say the story is dropping to uh, 12 midnight on Tuesday. And we don't have, you know, it's going out to all media. It's dropping at 12 midnight on Tuesday, etc. Um, please don't write about us. Which one's, uh, which one's better than embargo or exclusive? Well, I prefer exclusives. She prefers embargo. <laughs> okay. PRs often say, launch, get big, wide, throw it out to everyone. But um, I think often it's better to go after influential writers in the media. In, in Austria, you'll have your influential tech writers. Go after those guys, right? But always use different angles for different stories, different media. Negotiate before you shoot. Find out who you're talking to, talk to them, negotiate. Uh, shoot as in talk about the story. Here's a day in the life of a stressed tech writer. Ding! Okay, we get a lot of this stuff going on. We have a lot of incoming, uh, as you can see. Now, these are the kinds of things that happen day to day, three to five news stories by 9 a.m., four to five feature ideas, write-ups from trips, ranging travel, ranging meetings, incoming crap. Uh, then I get this. My butcher, we just launched. Okay. So for me, for drop everything and write about you, you have to be better than all of that other stuff I've got going on, right? Do you feel lucky, punk? Huh? Okay. Unlikely. Increase your chances. Warnings. We're doing this. Let's have a conversation about it. Mike, we're spinning this up. Start the conversation early. <sighs> then there's this. Can I send you a press release? Oh, God. Just fucking do it. Uh, or whatever. Get to the damn point. <laughs> See? 
this or donkey sex? Can anybody read donkey sex up there? Anyway, to get to the point. One of the things in the technology community, don't be a leech, network with people. If people think you're an arsehole, they'll tell me you're an arsehole. Understand? Okay? So get, no, get noticed. Talk about people. Your launch party is not news. I don't care about your launch party. You're inviting me to drinks. You're inviting me to coffee. You're inviting me to an event. It's great. It's not news. I don't care. Uh, your product is great. Your product is fantastic. Products are better. Make great product. What did I say? I can't hear you. Make a great startup. Right. Also, this is interesting. Be a great contact. Understand the journalist. Be, give them stories. Don't have to write about your own stuck company all the time. Give them gossip. Give them news about other people. Then eventually, when you come to them about your company, the journalist will remember you as a great contact. Be a great contact. Be a cool blogger. Make your own content. Twitter, G plus, blah, whatever thing. Um, whatever it is. What is it? What is it? What are we calling those people? I don't care. Um, make your own content. Loic Lemur from, uh, in, uh, of, uh, what is he doing? Seismic, yeah. Um, <laughs> he's better known for Loic Lemur than he is for his own company. Um, he's a fantastic blogger, and he creates his own content. He has huge numbers of Twitter followers, lots of people reading his blog, and he breaks his own news stories, right? So when you get really big, you can almost break your own news stories. You don't need guys like us. I, I, obviously, we don't like that, but that's the reality, right? In other words, make some damn news yourself, right? Start a fight. Interesting, recently, uh, Oracle starting a fight about autonomy uh, thing. Uh, Steve Jobs, rock Steve Jobs, well done, man. He, uh, Woo! he uh, very, very famously started a fight with Adobe about Flash. Start fights, it's interesting. We love fights in media, okay? Now, understand who you're talking to. Who the hell am I? Right, I'm editor of TechCrunch Europe. Do, am I interested in um, uh, long-range communications with submarines under the polar ice cap? No. Don't pitch me that story then. Right. I want to know about startups, VC, that kind of thing. Okay, understand who you're talking to. Target the journalist, understand who, what they want. Target the right writer. Nationals fo often follow bloggers. Big papers are often stupid, okay? Stupid. So they, they uh, like to go, uh, what, what, uh, anybody got any stories about technology this week? Oh, I don't know. I'll check TechCrunch. Yeah, yeah, there's something over here. Right up. There you go. That's what happens with nationals. Um, the media likes talking, taking, talking to the people who are in charge. Don't necessarily put your marketing person in front of a journalist when actually you are the best person, right? We like people who are talking about what you're doing. Because you make decisions. And the people who make decisions make news. Remember? News. Um, now then, if you want to pitch this, you know, just be a person. Be a human being. Don't, you know, the previous you know, huge screeds of writing. Just get something out there. Maybe have a bit of personality. What did you, oh, Mike, I saw your speech about tick pitching TechCrunch the other week. Blah, blah, blah. You know, oh, right. Oh, did you? Oh, okay, fine. Be understanding. Some guy pitched me by sending me a wooden box with hidden, it's like you had to go like press a button and then this would come out and then put something out and then out, eventually out came a piece of paper with a link to his website. I was like, what the hell is this? This is crazy. He was in Siberia. <laughs> Actually, but that guy, you know what? It's now called Questerly and he pitched at TechCrunch Disrupt. Imaginative, right? You stood out. A lot of the time, people send you kind of all sorts of strange stuff, but it's clever. It stands out. People have pitched TechCrunch. MG Siegler did a speech at TechCrunch about how people pitched him via Instagram. You know, it's weird, right? But it stands out. Um, but don't be too weird. Okay. Uh, don't kill anybody. Don't. Mike, I killed somebody. Look. Yeah, yeah, I killed somebody. Like, you know, take, care, take notice of my startup. Uh, that's probably. Okay, police. Um, should you hire a PR firm? You're definitely going to hire Colette Ballou because she's awesome, but you've got to hire Colette Ballou when the right time. Uh, the right time, okay? After funding. After funding <laughs> when you can afford those fees, those PR fees. 
But the other thing is, you've got to hire when the other people are calling you. You've got 20 journalists on your ass, you've got a bunch of people calling you all the time, oh my God, I don't know how to deal with this media, hire a PR firm, right? You're not, if you're not ready for that, if you don't understand it, then there's no, there's no point. These guys, the PR people, are going to talk to you before you're ready for that. They're going to be really nice to you, but you've got to work out when the right time is, and they'll probably tell you. PR firms, it's all about relationships. I think a lot of the time it's about introductions. You're going to hire the firm when it's the right time. Until you're ready, a lot of the time it's about relationships. A lot of this, this happens a lot. A uh, company pitches me, I say, great, who's your competition? We don't have any competition. We're just that good. Um, that's a load of rubbish. You've got to understand how that I can, I have to be able to tell the story about you in a context so the readers understand where you are coming from. They, I, you know, a lot, of the, a lot of technology companies are very obscure and they don't, you know, it's like with a YouTube of video, oh, well, not video, with a YouTube of text or something. You know, it doesn't make, you know, you have to understand it. So you have to think about how you're going to pitch it. Okay? In fact, there was a YouTube of text here earlier, wasn't there? Um, right. Don't be annoyed if you don't get coverage. Don't be annoyed. Don't send me an insult. Don't, don't be stupid. Because the thing is, it just, you know, something's going to happen. We can't write about you today because, you know, a big news story happens. So shit happens, whatever. Pitch like a human. Okay, here's, another, here's a little story, and I apologize for all of you who've already seen this uh, speech before and this sketch. <sighs> Hi. Hi. Go, Mike. So, uh, you're Mike from TechCrunch, right? Y yeah. <laughs> so, I've got this great startup. Pitch like a human. <laughs> Don't do that. There's no point. Think, think. That happens. So, what's the story? Don't worry. We'll put the slides up. You've got the video. Just listen. Competition, drama. You're going to kill somebody. Remember? Are you a gun? Who are you going to kill? That's drama. I like drama. Gossip. Mm, gossip. You know that Amsterdam trip by the CEO of the competing company? I have the receipts. Marvelous. <laughs> Insight. I'm going to change the world. You know that story that happened last week? We're going to kill that company. Blah, blah, blah. Fantastic. Evolution. We're like the... Uh, uh, uh. Marvelous. Evolution. Success. Awesome. We created something new. And it was awesome. And failure. This is my favorite. We screwed up. Or, those guys screwed up. Media. Lovely. And the next one is you. You are the story. You are the story, the startup entrepreneur out of Bucharest. You are the startup entrepreneur from Vienna. You are 16. You're 95. You're a woman startup who's doing a startup aimed at totally at guys. You're doing whatever. Ooh, actually, there are a few of those, actually, to come to think of it. Um, but, you know, you are the story. Okay. How do you negotiate, right? La, 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 we're ready. Let's talk about um, exclusivity, these, those things. Right, uh, it's all about saving the media time. Save us time, save us time. Put all of this stuff, uh, you know, bullet points, screen grabs, links to previews, extra quotes, previous articles, lots and lots of information. We want all the information because we're going to pick what's, what's important. So to summarize, know who to contact, create relationships, network. Have a unique story, personalize your pitch, lay out the benefits for me, and don't be stupid, don't be crazy, don't send the multiple pitch at the same times, and don't try PR just for your ego, don't be vague, don't be a crazy person, don't be crazy. And this is a quick, quick ad, come to Tech Hub, it's uh, awesome, we're hanging out in London, and we want to get everybody involved in London and in Vienna. So, how do we pick techcrunch.com? It's quite simple. Get your tattoo on the back. 
All right. Thank you very much. Good night.